Today I want to talk just a little bit about the simple frame for my R6. Now because of the way that I'm building my composite body, I don't need a traditional frame like you'll see in the Builders Club to support the skins, but I still need a structure to attach the legs to and keep them rigid. I chose to try the simplest design I could come up with and I don't think it gets any easier than this. I'm basically using a U-shaped structure with a plywood panel that keeps the whole thing square and true. This is built of Baltic birch plywood and I believe that it'll be more than adequate to support the legs. The bottom will provide support for the center leg which will attach with bolts through the bottom of the composite body. The sides are wide enough to provide attachment for the shoulder flanges. I began with a simple idea and no drawings. After cutting out all the pieces that I needed, I pre-drilled most of my screw holes. You can see that the frame has offset cutouts to make room for the pocket vents and octagon ports. I'm putting channels on the side of the frame which the center panel will slide into. These are glued and screwed into place on the center line of the frame. The center panel slides into the channels and is secured with screws. I'm not using any glue here so that this panel could be slid out in the future if needed. I temporarily mounted the frame inside the body to ensure that I could line up the shoulder flanges properly. This alignment is critical to be sure that the legs would be parallel and at the proper angle front to back. I know that the sides of the frame are parallel, so I use a straight edge and a caliper to match the center height of the shoulders. I also know that the legs will need to lean back at an angle of 36 degrees measured from the body. Once the angle is set, I can use the flanges to transfer the bolt holes to the frame. Thank you. 
As I said before, this is a pretty simple design, but it does give me the ability to continue building my R6 droid while I consider the next iteration of my composite body. I certainly feel like it will offer great support for the legs, and I'm happy to be moving on. If you like what you see here, please consider subscribing to my channel to show your interest. In the next video, I'm going to continue on with the legs. Until then, remember, the greatest teacher failure is.